Hey guys, welcome to our channel Learn to Win. Today our topic is the superposition of waves. So let's start. Let there are two waves uh, having equal frequency get superposed. Amplitude of one of them is A1, another one is A2. And uh, their intensity are I1 and I2 respectively. So we all know that uh, intensity is proportional to amplitude square that we will use here. Phase difference between the two waves, let be theta, this one. So the resultant amplitude and resultant intensity is A and I respectively. So there are some formulas like A square equal to A1 square plus A2 square plus 2A1 A2 cos theta A is the resultant intensity and resultant amplitude and resultant intensity I will be equal to I1 plus I2 plus 2 going to root over I1 I2 cos theta. Now when cos theta is 1, then this uh, I will, be have, will have maximum value and that will be equal to root over I1 plus root over I2 whole square. And when cos theta equal to minus 1, then in resultant intensity will have minimum value that is root over I1 minus root over I2 whole square. Now their ratio will be equal to I max by I min will be equal to root over I1 plus root over I2 by root over i1 minus root over i2 whole square and as i proportional to a square this will be equal to a1 plus a2 whole square by a1 minus a2 whole square okay so this will are the useful formulas so let's illustrate this with some examples the ratio of amplitudes of two waves is 1 is to 3 and they are superposed determine the ratio of maximum and minimum intensities so here given a1 by a2 is equal to 1 by 3. So if we uh, do the component or dividendo, then it will be a1 plus a2 by a1 minus a2 that will be equal to 1 plus 3 by 1 minus 3. Now if we square both sides, this will be equal to this. Okay. This is equal to i max by i mean. So i max by i mean is equal to 4 by minus 2 whole square that is equal to minus 2 whole square which is equal to 4 by 1 so this is the final answer that means the ratio of maximum by minimum intensity understood moving on to our next example two sources of light having intensities i and 4i are superposed find the resultant intensity if their phase difference is pi by 2 and the second case is if the phase difference is pi. So we all know the formula resultant intensity that is equal to I1 plus I2 plus 2 root over I1 I2 cos theta. So in the first case <coughs> I1 is equal to I and I2 equal to 4I. So I dash will be equal to I plus 4I plus 2 root over i into 4i and into cos 90. Cos 90 is 0, so this whole part will be equal to 0. Okay, so the final answer is 5i. This is the resultant intensity. And in the next case, phase difference is pi. So uh, i dash will be equal to i plus 4i plus 2 root over i into 4i cos pi cos pi is minus 1 so this will be equal to this so 5i minus 2 into 2i 2i is a uh, square root of 4i square so the it will be equal to like this so i this is the final answer resultant intensity of second case and this is the resultant intensity of first case understood so that's it if you like this video give us a big thumbs up by hitting the like button we will be happy to receive your feedback in the comment section don't forget to subscribe our channel till next video keep learning keep winning have a nice day thank you